All right, fellow road trippers out there, let's talk auto insurance. The unsung hero that swoops in when life throws a curveball on your cruising adventures. Specifically, let's talk about what types of auto insurance I should consider, right? Meaning you, myself, all of us. What should we consider uh, so that we're safer on the roads and so that we're covered when these moments happen? So buckle up and let's unravel the types of coverage that will have your back on the open road first. Let's consider liability coverage. Think of this as your superhero cape. Bodily injury liability handles medical bills and damages if you accidentally play bumper cars, while property damage liability covers the repair tab for the other guy's mailbox you just introduced your car to, right? So liability coverage, vitally important, especially financially. This is the cornerstone of your auto insurance coverage. Next, let's consider collision coverage. You ever wish your car had a magical repair fund? Well, collision coverage is as close as it gets. It puts the bill for fixing or replacing your ride after a collision, no matter who caused the chaos. Next, comprehensive coverage. Meet your car's guardian against unexpected plot twists, right? Comprehensive coverage shields you from non-collision shenanigans. Theft, vandalism, nature's pranks, you name it, that's what comprehensive coverage is for uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage. Lately, unfortunately, it feels like this has been more and more necessary. Uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage is the superhero duo for when the other driver forgot to bring their insurance game, right? They swoop in to cover your expenses when the other party falls short on coverage. The personalized playlist of coverage now let's get into in the nitty-gritty of coverage options that match your unique driving playlist. Uh, first, let's consider medical payments coverage because your health matters too. Not just your vehicle, this coverage picks up the tab for medical expenses, yours and your fellow passengers, no matter who's at fault. Personal injury protection, PIP, consider this your all-in-one coverage. PIP not only handles medical bills, but also throws in lost wages and even covers the somber stuff like funeral costs should happen. Rental reimbursement coverage. Your car's in the shop. Well, you got no worries if you've got rental reimbursement coverage. This coverage keeps you rolling by covering the cost of renting a car during the repair downtime. I will say this. Do make sure you take a close look at rental reimbursement because plenty of repair shops these days, as well as you know dealerships and factory dealerships, are having a hard time getting parts. And that means there are longer delays in getting your cars fixed. And that means a longer rental reimbursement time period is something you're going to need. So make sure you take a close look at this part because sometimes you might have it on there. It just doesn't last long enough. And that becomes a problem. Roadside assistance. Imagine this. A flat tire on a deserted road. Roadside assistance is your knight in shining armor. Offering towing, tire changes, and fuel delivery to get you back on your journey. It's embarrassing, right? To be stuck out in the middle of nowhere with no fuel. Well, you only got to tell one person, that guy who shows up. <laughs> so make sure that you have some roadside assistance. It's one of those things you never, you never need until you don't have it. So it's better not to need it at all in the first place. Coverage that's tailored like your favorite jeans as well. Gap insurance, for those who love their leased or finance rides, gap insurance bridges the gap between what you owe and the car's value in case of a total loss. You don't want to be stuck on the hook for that extra cash because, well, the moment you start driving your vehicles, it starts losing value, and it can quickly lose value so fast that you don't have enough equity in that vehicle to pay it off. So you don't want to be stuck with that extra cash. It's just sitting there waiting to take it away from you uh, as far as being able to pay off your lease or loaner. Uh, beyond the basics, let's also consider classic car insurance. For the proud owner of vintage chariots, a classic car insurance is tailored to the unique needs of these timeless beauties. You're not out there rolling around on the, uh, on the asphalt all day long in some of these. Sometimes you just take it out for a short period of time. That's why it's important to check out some classic car insurance under those circumstances. Speaking of which, you have usage-based insurance. Basically, modern tunes for modern drivers, right? This type calculates premiums based on your driving habits. 
making sure safe driving earns you a spot on the discount stage. That's right. You can get discounts out there if you try for just being a good driver, safe driver, in fact. You also have non-owner car insurance. Uh, basically, for the nomadic souls who occasionally borrow or rent a ride, non-owner car insurance gives you liability coverage when you're behind the wheel of someone else's vehicle. Also, make sure when you're out there shopping and looking at different types of auto insurance, you need to evaluate your risk tolerance. Are you a cautious driver or a thrill seeker? Adjust your coverage accordingly. Lower deductibles for cautious and higher ones for the adrenaline junkies might be in play. Consider your vehicle's value as well. If you've got a new ride or a seasoned companion in life, the value of your car influences the coverage you need. Go all out for newbies and keep it chill for the seasoned cruisers that might not have extreme value in your pocket. Assess your driving habits as well. If you're a road warrior or an occasional joy rider, let your driving habits dictate your coverage. Robust for the frequent roadies and pay as you go for weekend cruisers. Make sure you also consult with an agent. Think of insurance agents as your personal DJs. They'll spin the right tunes for your insurance playlist, making sure you're covered for all beats of life. Also, make sure you're doing regular policy reviews. Life's playlist evolves, and so should your insurance. Regularly review your coverage, especially after life-changing events like marriage, moving, or a car upgrade. Make sure you also consider bundling and saving. Double up on insurance so that you can uh, get some home or renter's insurance at a discount. That's right. When you find companies that will give you a bit of both, then it ends up being cheaper for you in the long run, typically. And make sure that you shop around. If the music festivals out there, well, don't settle for the first act. Shop around for quotes, ensuring that you're at the right concert for the best price. I know corny, right? But you do want to shop around because oftentimes we get stuck in insurance plans because, you know, it's easy just to hit that renew button, right? You don't have to do any extra paperwork, but guess what? There could be savings of hundreds of dollars of year, a year waiting for you out there just by looking. So shop around, maybe find the exact same coverage for cheaper and make sure that it is a part of your annual review process. So there you have it, your personalized playlist of auto insurance coverage. Whether you're on the highway as a rock star or the Sunday driver, make sure your coverage hits all the right notes. Buckle up, hit the gas, and drive with confidence that your insurance playlist is curated for your unique journey. Ride safe, everybody.